Hello, it's me, Sadger Z, and before this video gets started, I would like to talk about something. This video is me making a essential pseudo tier list for the characters that were buffed in 9.0. Though, after recording it, I kind of had a realization this video is kind of. It's more so a follow up to my 9.0 is meh. I kind of just wanted to show. Well, explain better why it was such a bad patch by showing you where I think the characters that were buffed belong in the tiers. Now, I know you may be thinking, well, if it's a similar video to one you did before, then why make it at all? Well, you see, the video that I'm working on that was supposed to be for today, well, I'm not able to finish it for today. And while normally I would do a black screen like this one right now saying, Hey guys, I can't work on the video because, uh, or I can't upload today because of this, this, or that. I'm not, I don't want to do that this time. I want to provide an actual video. I had this video pre-recorded just in case something happened. It's just that it's the only video I pre-recorded in case something happened. And so, well, here we are. It's basically similar to what I did before, but, uh, hey, you know, I hope this better explains my point. From that video so even though they're kind of long you kind of need to watch that first one being 9.0 is meh and with this one i'll leave a link to that previous video below but with that all being said thank you for watching and you know having patience with me as i said doing daily uploads it's kind of a pain because like i want to put out crazy videos like the one i wanted to put out today but some certain things happen but hey at least that video tomorrow uh, that will be uploaded tomorrow rather It's gonna be big and so I ask that for that tomorrow video You know you come back here or on the same time because uh, I Really like your support on it with that all being said. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy this video Here comes a new challenger Hello everyone and welcome to today's tier list? Pseudo tier list, actually. And it's only for the characters who are changed. I'll be doing a actual full tier list with these tiers at a later point. But for today, we're only going to be covering the characters that got major changes. That's pretty much it. Alright, so that's all we're going to do today. Because I really want to express how lackluster this this patch really was honestly uh, so with that all being said let's get started shall we so first we'll do Ness we'll go in order so for Ness I genuinely believe he's always been a high tier character and these buffs don't really do much you know I mean cuz I already thought he was good like sure up throw doing more damage is nice Neutral special, you know, PK Flash is basically a, a, a tiny bit slower PK Freeze, but without the freeze part. And it's very strong in that aspect, because uh, one, of, one of the things that makes, that makes, sorry, Lucas's neutral so scary, is that Lucas could just go, PK Freeze, in the middle of this, in, in the middle of gameplay. And suddenly you're kind of worried, because you, because you know that if you get hit by that thing, you're basically dead. Same thing applies to here. If you get hit by PK Flash, then you're you're gonna take a lot of damage and most likely die. So it's pretty good in that aspect. Otherwise, it's you know the character was already good. That is you know the character was pretty good, but these buffs don't really change much for him. All right, like down here being faster is great. I heard I was told that he kind of like now has. A combo that was kind of hard to do because of how slow Dara was before, or like it was two frames slower, but now it's two frames faster than before. So Ness can uh, get like an actual zero death, maybe uh, under the right circumstances. But either way, like even with that, it, it never really changed my opinion. I, I always thought Ness was a high tier character. You know, Ness is just a character with very strong disjoints, very great frame data, uh, very <laughs> obnoxious to deal with projectiles now he has access to a new one right um his ledge trapping is pretty good his uh edge guarding is pretty good the only thing that holds him back really is just his recovery you know because his recovery is so exploitable 
You know, I mean, because he has a, I believe, a frame four nair, which is still pretty good. Frame four, frame three, it helps him get out of situations. So, like, you know, he has he has ways to deal with disadvantage. Uh, he has ways uh, dealing with advantage or like uh, having great approach options and stuff like that. You know, he has great combos and just everything about those characters are already so good. But that 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 recovery is such a poor poor aspect to his character. I mean. You could literally, if you're good with uh, your timing, you could literally just have Ness go off stage, and if you're at low percent, you could literally just jump in front of uh, P, uh, PK Thunder 2 or the, the rocket, PK Rocket, and literally take the hit because unlike Lucas, who still goes straight through, Ness will actually stop on a dime when he, when he makes contact with something. And if you're a character like Pit, for instance, or I think even the newest character, Steve, uh, you could just place you can you place a block, or with, with Pit you can use your shield, and you know suddenly his recovery is recor bad. Or characters like uh, Rosalina who could take away his projectile, or certain projectiles that just destroy his projectile, or you get in the way of his projectile. Like there are various different ways of dealing with Ness. That yeah, it's kind of sad, but it's how it is, you know. But yeah, no, I always thought Ness was an extremely good character. And I, do, I just think people are sleeping on him, because not a lot of people play the guy. That's about it, you know? Alright, so next up we have Ice Climbers. Now, Ice Climbers, before, I'd argue, uh, I'd make the argument that if Nana worked with you, uh, then easily a high-tier character. But if Nana didn't work with you, <laughs> then they're easily a mid or low at, at, at the worst. So under the right situations, Nana, you know... You know, you're basically a really great character. From what I've seen so far, it doesn't seem like Nana will just randomly not do anything and get herself killed. So if that's how it is, if that's how it says to be, of course, when it comes to my full-on tier list, which I'll probably do like in a month's time, a month or... Uh, or maybe when around the next character is coming out, I'll make another one. But if... but it, but if what I've been told is true, or what I've seen is true, I, I genuinely believe these characters are high tier. You know, probably a gatekeeper to top tier in that aspect, because uh, one, your recovery works now, right? Your recovery works. Literally, the only weakness to Popo and Nana, in my opinion, uh, outside of their range, uh, was a, a weakness that they had were recovery and Nana not working. Nana, from what I've seen, works. And the recovery, there's still a flaw to it where if Nana hits someone, then Popo won't get thrown up. But at the very least, Nana won't randomly do like an up or something and then Popo can't recover anymore. No, it doesn't work that way anymore. So oh, there you go. Plus side B is another better option to basically get to ledge again. Like really their only weakness now is their poor grab. You know, because they're a grappler, right? So if we were to go to ultimate frame data, and we go to, uh, actually, we'll just go to stats. If you go to grab range, and here you go, Ice Climbers has the worst grab in the game. Literally the worst. The only one close enough is Hero. But Hero's not really a grappler. Ice Climbers are. So in that respect, if their grab was improved, I would say Gatekeeper to top tier, because it's still pretty easy to, like, kill Nana, even though they did make it harder. Even though they did make it harder, Nana, you can still you can still get rid of her pretty easily. And uh, maybe it's just me, because, you know, I play a character like like Ryu and Chakonetsu and Tatsu just just goes through them. But uh, you you can get you can get past a lot. Uh, you know, Nana can die. Uh, but otherwise, I think she's still a good, good character. As, no, sorry, I think they are a great character. And I mean, Sopo isn't even that bad compared to most other Smash games. Like, Sopo isn't even that bad. So, I think, I think for right now, they're definitely high tier if they finally function. You know, like I said, they're a grappler with the worst crap range. But, uh, hey, you know what? You know what? They're, they're on their way. <laughs> they're on the way, because... Unlike other Smash games, it's it's not like these combos they do are inescapable. There you can there are ways to escape it. It's just that in Brawl and Melee there were grabs that you literally just couldn't escape from and you died for. In this game that's not the case. 
So there you go. All right, moving right along. Let's go to, let's see here, Sonic. So Sonic, in my opinion, has always been a top tier or a gatekeeper to top tier because Sonic has speed. You know, he has uh, one of the best camping uh, game plans of all time because one of the things about Sonic is that side B and homing attack uh, and down B, of course, also, because side B and down B are basically the same move, but not really. What makes Sonic so good is that when he does those moves on your shield, there's not really many ways to punish those options. Uh, homing attack is practically plus because, uh, you know, Sonic just hits you and you can't really punish him for it along with side B and down B. The only downside is that Sonic can't really do anything to you either, you know what I mean? Because if he does another move trying to go towards you, then that's when you get a hit in. Uh, so generally, you know, you're kind of afraid about Sonic because the things that he does do does a lot of shield damage and thus you're afraid to shield or the Sonic shield pokes you, you take a lot of damage, etc, etc. Uh, Sonic just, he's just, what can I say? He's, you know, Sonic is never the aggressor. He's always the camper. Um, I probably got that quote mixed up, didn't I? <laughs> uh, no, I'm just making a joke here, but basically Sonic, very very good character and honestly these buffs didn't do much for him up here still misses uh connecting at like lower percents right up smash i mean sure it's it's better that's about it you know it's just a better move up tilt might be a combo tool now but you know but like whatever and dash attack you know it's still whatever like these these buffs aren't bringing sonic like top gatekeep you know top tier gatekeeper top tier whatever because these characters were he was already good you know, he's already good. Like, hell, he might even be here, you know, but uh, I'm not going to say that just yet. <laughs> you know, that's, that's, that's just how it is. At least in my opinion. Lucario. All right, look, I'm going to be honest with you guys. What is the next character we're going to talk about? This character sucks. I have no idea why you would play Lucario. Why would you even touch this character? So let me put it like this, all right? So Lucario, his whole gimmick is aura, right? And the idea is, the more damage he takes, the more damage he can dish right back, right? Makes sense. But it sucks. Um, one of the main issues here, if we go to back to stats. If we go to, uh, no, nah, not jump height. Where's weight? Ah, here's weight. We wait here. And Pichu. You know, Jigglypuff, Squirtle, um, Game Watch, Fox, right? That's the top five. Cheek, Kirby, Pika. Uh oh, oh, oh. Where is Lucario? He is somewhere up here. It's pretty light. I don't want to put. Ah, uh, here's Lucario. He's right around Ice Climbers' range, right? Now, the issue here is that. Alright, well, he matches the weight of characters like Wolf and Villager. It all around there. So why would I say he's light? Well, the issue here is that these characters, Paolo, can deal massive damage, right? Characters like, um, characters like Wolf, amazing neutral. Ice Climbers can do crazy amounts of damage. Villager, great zoning. What does Lucario have? Lucario, all right, has very bad frame data. Let's just say it, it's pretty bad. A frame 12 forward uh, F tilt. You know, up tilt's kind of like his fastest move, I guess. Down tilt, frame nine. Uh, frame set dash attack, not too bad, but F smash, the yeah, down smash. His smash attack's pretty slow, which makes sense, but like, they're still pretty slow. Uh, I think his narrow's a bit faster. Some of these moves are faster. Like frame 13 back here, frame 10 up here. Oh, you know, you're down down near frame 4, but whatever. What about his specials? Well, or Sphere's a projectile, you know how it is. Up B takes forever uh, to come out. Uh, side B, 24 frames. His frame data sucks. And then if you look at, like, how bad it is on shield, like, this character can't do anything. You know, the issue with Aura is that because of how Lucario's designed, because he's, you know, he's considerably light, or like, mid-weight, right? 
um, Lucario dies quickly. He dies very fast. So he has no way of really dealing with the disadvantage state. He 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 has poor disadvantage state, I'd say. His uh his uh his advantage state is pretty meh, it's pretty subpar. Lucario as a character is just bad. He's he's just bad. You literally have to take damage in order to become a character, but if you play characters that like, for instance, a uh, character like Char, like Pokemon Trainer, uh, Falcon, characters that can really abuse the fact that he has slow frame data and dies really early, he's not going to be able to utilize his aura, he's going to die, he's just going to die, and that's just how it is. This character sucks, and these, these buffs literally don't help him in those aspects. Okay, Nair a bit faster, whatever. Uh, side tilt, it may easier to hit multiple times. You know, down smash faster, uh, be less lag when you land, but whatever. Oh, but this was the main thing. This doesn't help him at all. Just because he gets stronger, right? Because now he has more aura to work with. Just because he's stronger doesn't help his problems. He still has to take damage in order to feel like a character. He still needs to lose stocks in order to feel like a character. This character is one of the most poorly designed Smash characters, uh, right up there with Luigi. But unlike Luigi, the problem with Lucario isn't that he's lame. The problem with Lucario is that he sucks. He just, he's just bad. Alright, he's gonna struggle a lot. There's nothing that can help him. Now, with Shulk, we have Shulk here. Uh, up smash, neutral special, down special. So, what I say Shulk is a top tier? Yeah, he probably is. Or Gatekeeper. He's one of these two, you could argue. My opinion, he's right up there. But uh, in terms of human level playing, uh, he's probably a gatekeeper. You're not really going to be able to utilize um, his strengths all too well. And really the issue with Shulk is that he dies in the mid range. I mean, no, he dies up close and from a distance because he has no way of really dealing with zoning. Sure, he has speed, but speed is kind of like it's not the damage, it doesn't give you damage, it just gives you neutral. Uh, so when it comes to zoning, he struggles a little bit. And when it comes to people getting up in his face, he struggles because uh, the issue with Shulk is that he just has pretty much big range. And while his moves are a bit faster than what they were in Smash 4, you know, like, okay, frame 5 jab makes sense, but like, frame 12 F tilt, up till 11, down till 10, dash attack 12. And uh, I smash his, his fastest, but you know, uh, fastest smash attack. But otherwise, you know, frame 13 Nair, frame 14 Bear, frame 19 Bear. This is even worse than uh, Euro's, like one frame uh, worse. You have uh, frame 14 Up Bear, frame 14 Down. Like, like the problem with Shulk, right, is that he, he uh, struggles very much up close. And he struggles up close, which is uh, which is his weakness, which makes sense. He doesn't want you too far away, but he also doesn't want you too close. He's very good in that respect. It's just that I feel Shulk has like that fear factor on top of him, because once he's on Buster, or like once he's in speed, he gains neutral. You're basically at the edge, and then he puts on Buster, and you're just kind of afraid of taking damage. And then once he's in sh Smash, he's kind of I mean Shulk is kind of inside afraid because he can die like any percent but so will you you know <laughs> um so i just think with shulk it's mainly all about putting fear into the opponent and stuff like that i don't think shulk is top tier from a player's perspective from a android ai's perspective a person a, a machine that doesn't doesn't <laughs> doesn't need to speak think it just acts yeah maybe maybe this character is top tier but Otherwise, I just I just don't see it. And these buffs again don't really change my opinion too much. Like uh, Smash Art being, I mean Shield Art being a bit worse, whatever. Up Smash connecting, uh, I think it makes it a better anti-air now than Up Tilt, because like Up Tilt only covers like really one side and a little bit over to the other. 
where up smash covers both and it's a pretty big hitbox and down uh down b down b counter with smash heart pretty ridiculous like if if you if you counter the right move with smash heart they'll die like 15 percent or 20. who knows maybe anything high a bit higher or lower than that even so uh pretty good all around but again doesn't change my my opinion on the character then we have bowser jr so first of all i just want you to look at these buffs and tell me do these mean anything for him at the long run the question should be no it should be no um now that's why i think now my opinion my opinion actually i think this character could be a high tier right he could be but he's not he's a mid tier i don't explain why bowser jr has two uh two flaws in my opinion that hold him back but it's the same thing with mewtwo right mewtwo has everything so good but his tail holds him back significantly so let me talk about Bowser Jr. Uh, first of all, he doesn't really have a way to control space. He doesn't really have too much of a neutral. His neutral is just spamming side B, right? But side B, it's pretty easy to react on like, say, Steve's minecart, which happens like almost instantly. But Bowser Jr., he has like this real back animation and then he goes forward, right? They gave it more armor, but you were always avoiding that move regardless. So it's kind of easy to see coming. And, uh, so, if he had a way to control the stage, that'd be great. But cannonballs don't really do that, even if you can fire two. Uh, so down B was really the only option. But the problem with down B is that it stops when it hits a shield. And that kind of sucks. Because now Bowser Jr. can't gain stage control, which is something he desperately needs. If he can't control the stage, then what's the point? Right? Down B, I feel, should go through shields. That's my opinion. I feel if they did that, I'd put him in high tier. Because otherwise, I think he's a sleeper pick, right? He, he can do a lot of damage, you know, and uh, he can do a lot of damage quick. And in terms of his KO potential, like his ability to take stocks, it's pretty good. It's just that his neutral kind of sucks. And the fact that he has like this really weird thing about him where if you hit him, he takes more damage. But if you hit the clown cart, it takes less than your average character would. So overall, I would just say buff that and also buff his up B. It's still really weird that like, if you just jab him, he kind of dies, right? If a weak hit touches him after he up B's, he's dead. There's not a lot he can do about it, which is unfortunate. I feel Bowser Jr. needs a buff in that regard as well, because honestly, these buffs don't do anything for him, right? It's not like uh, him having a it, like a Senja's launch distance forward throw was never killing all right edge attacks i found out what this was and that's whatever right it's it's pretty miscellaneous so i'd be having more armor like okay eh, you know maybe you'll tank be moves better and, and sort of combo off of it but uh it's still pretty easy to react to in my opinion down smash being faster i mean still kind of whatever up smash making it easier to hit well i mean that's great and all but still it doesn't make him too much better and F and F to doing, you know, doing more knockback. It's still, like whatever. It's not like you were killing with that move, you know. Like it might kill now. I'm not too sure, but either way, it's like, it's not make it doesn't make a huge difference. And this, I don't know what this means. I I, I can't tell you. All right, let's continue. So with Belmonts, Belmonts, uh, I I still feel. Like they're mid tier. So, uh, where is Simon? I just want to use Simon for this. Simon, uh, Belmonts in general. The main issue, and this is why I say Min Min is a better version of Belmonts, which I'll make a video of. I do want to do an analysis on that. Is that Min Min has two things, which is the ability to keep away while also being really good up close right because when you're in her face she she'll hit you and then she'll put you back where she wants you to be which is to keep you away and since her arms are disjointed and they're pretty big hitboxes all things considered her her ability to keep away is great the belmonts on the other hand not so much their whip is very thin right 
Uh, F tilt's fast and all, but uh, you know it only goes straight, which means some characters can still duck over it or jump over it. It's still not an issue with that. Uh, F smash, you can change its angles, but that doesn't really matter all too much. You know, I mean, sure you might you might two frame someone, but that's about it. So their keep away is kind of all right, you know. But then them up close, the only thing they have is an uppercut. Now in this patch, they improved its hitbox. That's it. And honestly, improving the hitbox isn't going to do anything for the character, right? Because if you know he's going to go for that, what's essentially a DP, um, well, then he gets punished for it. And even if he does hit it, you're not dying until basically 180, and it's not hard to DI that move. So uh, they have a pretty bad up close option, and their keep away is subpar. Because even though they have projectiles, and eat, let's, let's be real here, individually those projectiles suck, but having them together is what makes them so great, right? Having those th having those three projectiles together is so great. I mean, they're they're not bad. They're just they're just all right. They're all right projectiles. But despite that, Min Min is still a better character because one, you can reflect those projectiles, and uh, two, those projectiles have very linear. Uh, usage, right? Like you're only really using holy water at ledge, maybe to control platform for like a split second. That's about it. Axe, you're only really going to be throwing axe uh, when your opponent's really far off and they're off stage, so you want to throw it at them. And uh, cross, uh, while it has good priority, you know, once it hits the shield, it just sort of comes right back. And it's really just like a combo move, essentially a combo item. But only when it's on the return. So, honestly, pretty eh tools, you know what I mean? Combine that with his whip having such a thin hitbox. Right, I wanna I wanna show this. Uh because he has thin hitboxes. So let's use uh F Smash as an example. All right, so here we are. We go for here. There you go. This hitbox, pretty thin, all cons things considered. This is basically a sour spot. These two are another sour spots. And these two are sweet spots, right? Think of it like that. But all in all, not very big. Especially when you look at the, the whip itself. Same thing with moves like up smash. It's just like one big line. You know, you have your uh, aerials which you want to use the most, but even those have pretty thin uh, hitboxes, you know? So, yeah, all things considered, not very great. So their keep away is meh, and their up close game is meh. And similar to Min Min, if you hit them off, and I just dropped my phone, awesome. And similar to Min Min, once you hit them off stage, they die, but, I mean, that's not, that's not very good, <laughs> you know, that's not, that's not very good. So how are you going to have a character whose whole thing is they keep you away, but they suck at keeping away, sort of, uh, <laughs> you know, and then their up close game is also pretty bad. And then once they're off stage, they just die. You know, like I said, like Min Min is essentially a better Beaumont, but I'll, I'll do a later video on that. You'll soon see. And that's pretty much it, right? Cause this, cause the rest is just like. Rapid jabs and all that. So yeah, those are really the characters I got, quote unquote, buffed. These uh, these seven, and this is where I think they stand. I don't think they're great characters. I just, uh, well, I mean, uh, these these three here, I just don't think they're great characters. These, you know, Ice Climbers, I would say, is the only one that, in my opinion, changed, right? Because before I would put Ice Climbers here or here. But now I can genuinely put them here because if Nana truly does work now and Nana is harder to kill, then now it's more now now they're a threat, you know, or at least they're more threatening than ever before. But yeah, no patch 9.0 hasn't done anything. It didn't do anything. It really didn't. Uh, as well, like I, honestly, I would I would argue that out of you know we're 9.0. So, out of from 2.0 to 9.0, I would argue the only characters that ever, like, 
were actually changed for the better through punches for characters like Falcon, characters like uh, Corrin, because Corrin used to used to also suck. Uh, the pits definitely got improved. Uh, Shoto's definitely. I remember the days when when Shoryuken was stuck by it was clanked with a jab. You know, Charizard got got crazy. But the you know, Mewtwo is literally just held back by his tail. You know, some of these characters got really good buffs, but that's so few characters, especially for uh, a game that essentially started with like uh, 75 characters, technically 72. I'm, I just don't count Richter, Dark Sinister, <laughs> or Daisy. But like, for a roster that has 70 characters, plus, not a lot of changes have been made. And the and and some patches have just made characters worse. Like Pichu, there's no reason to play him over Pika. K. Rule, he 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 used to he was all right, and then he became worse. And then they now he's back to where he was. So that's why I, I didn't want to really count K. Rule. Jigglypuff, sorta, but like it was like she only went from like low tier to mid tier, in my opinion. You know, like a character like. Uh, like I, I feel had one of the better patches because it it changed his game plan overall. He felt like a different character. While he's yes, he did still have like Nair stuff. He he felt like a different character because that Nair stuff wouldn't really work. You couldn't spam it all the time. It wasn't that linear. So I feel like the patches really need to be more creative. I I think we need more patches that like give characters more speed or give characters better air movement or stuff like that. Because otherwise, these patches, these patches don't do anything. It didn't do much for any of these characters except maybe Ice Climbers, and that's it. And that's the message I'm trying to get across. But with that all being said, thank you for watching. Please take care of yourself, and as always, have a great rest of your day. Bye bye. You can